Hi everybody, this is Mike, aka Mike in the Truck. I'm just making a video here to show everybody how to copy a team from one league into another with Pro Strategy Football 2023. Uh, someone asked, uh, is there a way to do, do this? And as an example, they said, let's say I took the 1981 season, but I wanted for the Jets, the 1968 Jets with Joe Namath, to take part in that to take part in that season here's what you would do to do that for starters you would need to make sure you have both the 1981 season mod and the 1968 season mod because you're going to be using teams between the two go to editor and mods on the bottom left and red we're going to call up the 1982 season pardon me I said it was 1981 so we're going to call it the 1981 season, 1981, I'm going to edit league. I'm going to go to teams. Okay, these are all the teams. So what he wants to do is he wants to take the New York Jets, and instead of the New York Jets being from 1981, he wants them to be the 1968 Jets with Joe Namath. So here's what you would do. Before we proceed, we're going to make a copy of the 1981 season. See on the bottom left where it says League 1981 NFL and there's the file name 1981 NFL blah blah blah. Okay let's leave that alone. We're not going to save over this so we always have the 1981 season in case we want to play that season in and of itself. Plus think of it also as a database. Don't disrupt the database. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a copy of this league and name it something that's obvious to, to us. So on the bottom right where it says save as, if you hit save it's going to hit on the far right it's going to go save it as 1981 NFL. We don't want to do that. We're going to make a unique name. We're going to go save as and it comes up by default what the league name was. I'm just going to say with 1968 Jets. Okay? Simple. I'll hit save. And you see on the bottom, it said Save League. Um, the file name, it's still called 1981 NFL. But the file name, which is what's written on your hard drive, you see it down here, 1981 NFL with 1968 Jets. Okay. So when we go to call up this file after it's done and build the season, we will make sure to look for 1981 NFL that's named with 1968 Jets. Don't get confused. I'm gonna we're gonna go step by step. Now here are the New York Jets. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the Jets. We don't want the 1981 New York Jets. We want to put in the 1968 Jets. Okay. Uh, I can go previous just to just to let you see what the, what it looks like. All right. Here's the 1981 Jets. I'm just gonna scroll through. You know, here's here are the players. So instead of Richard Todd, you'll have Joe Namath, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And instead of uh, who was a backup quarterback, uh, Pat Ryan, you'll have Bay Perilli, uh, who was the backup quarterback for the Jets. So here's what we're gonna do. The top center, you see New York A. A is for AFL or AFC, because there's a New York Giants and a New York Jets. So. The reason we put that N and A, just in case anybody's confused, why do you do that? You, you'll see it sometimes with Los Angeles and other franchises. If there is the same city that has more than one team, we don't put the name. We could put the name of the franchise, for example, uh, the, the mascot uh, as part of the name. Then it would be New York Jets, but then the mascot name comes up Jets. So you'd have the New York Jets Jets. That would look kind of silly. This doesn't look as bad. The N is for NFC or NFL. And the A that's here is for AFC or AFL if it's pre, uh, the pre-merger. Uh, that way it's an indicator of, okay, you know with the New York A, that would be the Jets. If it said N, you know it's the Giants. But here's what we do. See this X? Click on that. It's going to ask you to confirm, do you want to delete the New York A, AFC, the New York Jets? Now, mind you, again, 
We've made a copy of the 1981 season. So we're not blowing it off the 1981 season. We're blowing off the one that's called 1981 with the 1968 Jets. We'll say yes. It's gone. Okay? You ha it, but you haven't saved it yet, so it's not completely gone. This is just a workspace. Okay? So you have in your division Baltimore, Buffalo, Miami, New England. Now, you've taken the 1981 Jets out of the 1981 season that you're building. You want to put in the 68 Jets. Copy team from other league. Inside the given conference, they're in the AFC East. So I will go copy team from other league. On the upper right, it says select league. Because right now we don't have a league loaded. We'll select the league. And as we said, we want to do the 1968 Jets. This is the 1968 AFL-NFL merged file. That's where the 1968 Jets are. So we'll click on that. Now it's going to ask us which team do we want to copy. Select team from league. Okay. So we will go the New York Jets. And boom, there they are. The 1968 Jets are now in. And we'll take a look at them. There's Joe Namath. There's Babe Perilli. And so on and so on and so on. So the Jets are in. From 1968 I'll hit back okay now I can hit save as or save because I created 1981 NFL with 1968 Jets I've already done that I'll hit save as just to show you okay now I'll hit save this file already exists with that name do you want to override it yes we want a 1981 league with the 1968 Jets in it so yes the league is saved now, before we continue and actually show this uh, uh, single season, I want you to look on the very far right where it says Team ID. See these numbers? I'll scroll to the top. Team ID is an indicator for the game itself as well as the schedule file. There are schedules, actual historic schedules that are built for this game for each season. So in that schedule file for week one, let's say Dallas was hosting Philadelphia. Team ID is one and three. It would show for week one, the numbers one and three. One will be hosting and three is the visiting team. So it's a really simple, small CSV file that your schedule is. So it's a 1-3, which means Dallas is hosting Philadelphia week one. I'm just being hypothetical. But you see how they're all in order. One, two, the, and the modders made sure that they were put in numerical order. One, two, three, four, five, and so on and so on. You can see that they're all in numerical order. Here is why. It's just for a matter of our sanity. Okay? When you put in teams inside a division like this. Okay, let's look at the NFC East. Whoever you physically put in first will be the highest number possible. Okay? So what we do is by city, not by the mascot, over here, the city, Dallas, New York, Philadelphia, St. Louis, Washington, we put them in an alphabetical order. So it physically appears in alphabetical order on this menu on the left and on the right the numbers are the same because if we put in New York first and then Dallas second what would happen is this New York would be number one because we put them in first Dallas would be number two but the way the game shows these teams on the left is always in alphabetical order that's the way it's built so you would have Dallas showing as two and New York as one. It would just be confusing for us mod makers. We put the, we look up before we put in teams in the A division. How do we put it in so it's all in alphabetical order? The reason we do that is we are able to definitively know what a team's ID is and it shows up in numerical order for our benefit when we build the schedule. So we know Dallas is always going to be Team ID 1. We know Chicago is always going to be Team ID 6. We know Atlanta is always going to be T.ID 11. So we know when we put in those numbers, 
that's the team that's going to show up in the schedule. Now, the reason I'm saying this to you is if it works out fine with the Jets, but let's say we had done Miami instead of the Jets, okay? If we deleted Miami and then put them in, what would happen is New England's number would go from 18 to 17. The Jets would have gone from 19 to 18. Miami, because we deleted them and put them in last, we physically put them in after the fact, would end up showing up as 19. So those teams' numbers would not equal the schedule that we already made they would play different teams. Now, if you don't care about that, if you don't care about the historical accuracy of the schedule, then you could just go ahead and it, these numbers will not matter. They won't matter. But if you actually want to do the actual historical schedule in question, what you have to do if you were to do Miami is, believe it or not, you can leave Baltimore and Buffalo in because their numbers are going to be the same. Blow out Miami, New England, and New York. You actually blow out all three teams. And then you would do them in alphabetical order again. Miami from 1981. New England from... Oh, excuse me. We're doing hypothetically if Miami was a different year. You would then put Miami in from whatever year you wanted. Then you would put in New England from 81. And then you would put in New York from 81. Now, if you go to... I'm not actually going to do this, but... It remembers the last leak you saved. Let's say you had to go back to 1981 to do what I'm talking about. You would select again, and now you're just going to switch leagues. So you would actually go back to 1981. This one. This is the one that we made, 1981 NFL with 1968 Jets. So you would go, actually go back to 1981, and then you would pick the given team that you would want to replace. I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you as an example. When doing the 68 Jets, because the New York Jets happened to be the last team with the team ID, it works out. It's not an issue. But I just wanted to present that to everybody in case you want it to be literally the exact 1981 schedule, the exact matchups, because you would have thrown an issue into the schedule if the numbers were different. You'd still have everybody play 16 games. They'd still play in their respective conferences. It's just that there would be sometimes some teams, uh, the given team you replace would be playing different teams on occasions. So that being said, wanted you aware of it. Now the numbers always start, you can build these out of order because it's always going to go starting at the very first division you built. So you could build 10 teams in here, and then when it gets to down here, it would automatically reset itself for the number that's appropriate. You, you want to build this for your own sanity if you were to build a league from start to finish. and the schedule. So if you were to build a, a league with different teams from different years, but the same franchises, like 77 Dallas, 86 New York, uh, 2017 Philadelphia, and so on and so on. If you want to build a historical league using a certain schedule, go in the order that's here in your template, NFC, AFC, put in all the teams, and put them in an alphabetical order by city, not by mascot, by city. If you make a mistake, you actually blow out who you made the mistake with, put in the proper team, and then build down in the proper order. I hope that makes sense. So now we've built this league. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out. I'm done editing the league. Let me get out. I'm going to go to single season. I'm going to create a new single season. Okay. And I'm looking for that 1981 with the special name. Okay. So let's go to 1981. Okay. And here it is. Because so here's the original 1981, and this is the 1981 with the NFL 1968 Jets. So I'll select that, say yes. Okay. So I will load a schedule. The game comes with schedules. I know some people have asked, you know, you guys didn't supply the schedules this time. The game comes with schedules with a handful of exceptions. I don't think there are schedules for the 1940s. 
uh, those are supplied with the 1940s mods. Um, any compilation league like the NFL 100 or the NFL Dream Season, uh, that actually had a schedule that was because we're trying to emulate the old XOR NFL Challenge game. We actually put in that schedule for the NFL Dream Season that was literally used by XOR and ESPN. So you could literally replay it. So unless it's something like that, the game comes with it. So what do you do? So we're going to look for the 1981 schedule. So I'm going to scroll. There it is right here. And because of licensing, it's not going to say NFL or AFL or AAFC or WFL or whatever. There's going to be a letter missing, but you can do the math. Okay, so this is the 1981 schedule, the actual 1981 schedule. So we will, for NL, instead of NFL, it's NL, but that's it. Okay, so we'll select it. We'll go to select playoff format. And what's nice about this is if you don't have to make a custom playoff, you can go off of the given year. This is pre-programmed in the game, uh, the given format that the playoffs were used. So we're going to use six division four wild cards, which was from 78 to 89. Okay. So we'll select that and then we'll start the season. Yes. Okay. That's it. They're your week one matchups. So let's see who the Jets are playing. Whoops. Where did the Jets go? Here they are. New York Jets are, are at Buffalo in Rich Stadium. Okay. Just for the heck of it, let's see how Joe Namath's Jets do uh, in the uh, first year that Joe Montana won the Super Bowl with the 49ers. We're going to send the whole thing just for laughs. Let's see who would who was in the Super Bowl. Oh, look at this. It was San Francisco against the New York Jets, and Joe Willie Namath won. Wow. How about that? That's funny. Okay. View box. And Joe Namath was the MVP. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the highlights just since we're here. Wow. Now, one thing you'll notice, well, if you notice the, um, I want to, let, let me go back to, let me go back to the previous highlight. You'll see the, this is the Super Bowl. Um, one thing that was done was uh, the Jets. Uh, well, it's the Jets of 49ers. So one end zone is going to say the Jets and one end zone is going to say the 49ers. This being said, you'll see that even though it's the old school Jets uniforms from 1968, the 1981 Jets logo is in the end for the Super Bowl. And here's why. The uh, graphic artists that made the graphics for this have built in to the season all of the end zones, championship end zones, in case a team makes a Super Bowl. Uh, has it built in so that when it shows up and you play the Super Bowl, that team's in. Now, we copied the 1968 Jets over, so they're going over with their uniforms. But what doesn't go over is the championship logos. It's set up because this is a league file. It's set up for what the Jets were in 1981. So it's a little off, if you will. Uh, but uh, this is because it's based off of 1981. That being said... Uh, let me go back. Let me just skip. So, look at this. Let's see. Did uh, Montana do anything in this game? Oh, my goodness. Missed field goals? Okay. Uh, Joe Montana touched down to tie it. All right. Let's see how he did in the regular season. Joe Namath is the MVP. Let's see how they did in the regular season. Dallas went 12 and 4. And they went 12 and 4 in real life. Philadelphia's right behind them at 11 and 5. Tampa Bay uh, did 12 and 4. San Francisco was 12 and 4. The Jets were 13 and 3. Cincinnati was 13 and 3. And they were 12 and 4 in real life. San Diego was 11 and 5. They were 10 and 6 in real life. So, boy, did the Jets throw a wrinkle in all this, huh? 
Let's see how the playoffs were. This is a wild card. Buffalo beats Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia beats New York in the wild card. Then Buffalo gets destroyed by Cincinnati. Dallas beats Tampa. The Jets beat Air Coriel Chargers. San Francisco runs over Philly. Then the Jets beat Cincinnati to go to the Super Bowl. And just like in real life, San Francisco beats Dallas. They didn't shut them out, but this is imitating real life. This is funny. So there you are. So that's how you can make a single season and just add a team. But you can use the same process of building your own season with mixing up teams from different eras. It's the same principle. It's just obviously you're going to be doing a lot more clicking and moving things around. But it's the same process. Hope this helps somebody out and thanks for watching.